have a we have a we have a gentleman coming out tonight uh, who is making his first appearance here. Uh, he comes to us from from New York. He just flew in from Long Island. It's a very Long Island, all the way out. Anyway, give, put your hands together for the, the toast of New York, Rick Allen. Hey, 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 Good evening. How are you doing? Marty Shaw. I'm Rick Allen. Yeah. First of all, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. How many of you have made a New Year's resolution? No. I'm so bad. I, I gave up, but I, to keep with the tradition, I, I, I made some resolutions. Okay? I uh, actually joined a, a diet group called Golo, and in the first three weeks, I dropped 10 pounds. And drop from my belly to my ass. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I'll explain it to you later, mother. That's not, that's not good night. <laughs> and then the other thing I did, okay, I made a resolution to go to a gym. And being a senior citizen, I bought silver sneakers. If you don't know this, it's free. And I got a 24-7 gym right by my house. And my doctor says I'm healthy enough to work out, so I have no excuses. So I did join, I haven't been there yet, but I'm working on it. And the other resolution is I recently joined Alcoholics Anonymous. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't stop drinking, I just drink under somebody else's name. <laughs> Tonight, it's uh, Bartholomew. Okay? Now, m many of you here know my, my real name is Rick Delvecchio, and I'm a magician, but Marty and I have been putting on this open mic for what, about three or four months now, Marty? September 17th. Okay, whatever that works out to be. <laughs> I'm a senior citizen, Marty, I can't you know. Since September 17th to now, so it's been a couple of months. So yeah, it's been, it's been a while, it's been a while. And I've been inspired by the comedians. Uh, so I, I, I want to throw my hand at stand-up comedy. So what I did is I, I purchased this uh, book. Stand-up comedy for women. This is my personal edition, by the way. And basically. Oh, and also, by the way, my middle name is Alan, so it's Rick Allen because Del Vecchio would have come off the side of the page or messed up my book. Keep your hands off. Keep your hands off. But you remember, um, one of the things that we all should strive to as a New Year's resolution is to treat people better, okay? Makes sense, all right? You know, your, your spouse, your wife, your friends, your neighbors. What? No, no, dear, thanks. Huh? Your mother, mother. Do not touch the, I'm trying to record this. It's in my brothers in New York so they can laugh at me. But a few weeks ago, a few weeks ago, one of the comedians asked how many people here were married and how long they were married. And believe it or not, some were 40, 50, and I know Fred Jocko, who some of you know, 54 years. But last Saturday, Marty and I were at Temple together, and the rabbi pointed out that Moishas and Sarah Saperstein were ready to celebrate their 75th anniversary. I mean, that's, that's something. They were both in their 90s. And, and the rabbi said, Moishas, please share with the congregation your secret to a successful marriage, such a long marriage. He said, sure. He goes, Moist. You have to find a woman who shares your same interests. Sarah and I both love to travel. On our honeymoon, we went to Paris. The next year, we went to the homeland, Israel. Then Italy, Hawaii, and on our fifth anniversary, China. And the rabbi said, that's fantastic. Where are you going for the 75th? Back to China, together. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. Oh. Where, where's the drum roll? <laughs> Relationship. How, how many people here golf? Anybody golf? No golfers? Oh, you're going to really hate this joke. Okay. Well, one of our elks a few weeks ago was on the golf course. And uh, after the, over at the Rattle on the white course, which is one of the toughest courses in South Florida. And after nine holes, he was set to break the course record but he gets a phone call. Jackson Memorial Emergency Room. They said, listen, sir, your wife was in a car accident. 
We just wheeled her into the OR. Get here as soon as possible. So of course the guy tells his friends I gotta leave. They say, wait a second, Fred. <laughs> wait a second. She just got wheeled into the OR. You're gonna go over there, sit there for three or four hours and just worry about it. You could finish the game, keep your mind off of that, then go see her and she'll just be getting out of the ER, maybe out of the ICU. He goes, okay, you maybe you're right. So he finishes the game and sure enough, he breaks the course record. But he wanted to get over there, so he didn't change his clothes. He went right over to the ER. And as he's run up there, the doctor comes out and he looks at him. He says, you were playing golf. He goes, yeah. You finished the game. You just got here. He goes, yeah. Well, I got news for you, you son of a bitch. Your wife is paralyzed from the neck down, and you're going to have to care for her 24-7 for the rest of your pathetic life. So Fred broke down, crying. And the doctor goes, hey, man, I'm only kidding. She died 15 minutes ago. How did you shoot? <laughs> Another friend of mine uh, and his wife were driving down a country road. They hadn't spoken to each other for over an hour because earlier they had an argument, okay? And, uh, you know, after about an hour, nobody would admit who was wrong, so they're ticked off at each other. Not a word. They're passing a barnyard with pigs, goats, cows. And, and the husband says, uh, hey, sarcastically, hey, relatives of yours? Yeah. And the wife goes, yeah, my in-laws. Boom, <laughs> 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 Now everybody knows Jeff Sylvia. This guy goes on a cruise every three weeks. It's yeah. amazing. And then he doesn't brag about it, but some people brag about their, their, their extravagant uh, vacations. I, I'm one I don't. I never brag about my expensive vacations, okay, my expensive trips. However, I do want to tell you, I just came home this morning. I got to tell you about one for a very expensive trip. I went home and I returned from the gas station. <laughs> and I will finish, finish with a magic trick. But I'm gonna need an assistant. Uh, I'll tell you, somebody I've never met before. Um, there was a young lady here who came with one of the magicians, with, uh, one of the comedians. Would you like to help? <laughs> Come on, give a round of applause. <laughs> I promise, will that be made fun of? If anybody's gonna look like an Indian, it'll be me. And you remember something else? Janie, that name I can remember. Thanks, Janie. Janie, have you ever seen a card trick before? Oh, great, great. You can turn around and face the audience. Very good. Now, I'm gonna show Janie the cards. I'll show all you guys the cards too. It's a bicycle deck of playing cards. Now, Janie, an ordinary deck of cards, yes. Regular deck, okay, now Janie, I'm going to let you have a choice. What we're going to do, we're going to use this as a marker card. You place it anywhere face up and leave it sticking out halfway. I'm going to demonstrate how we're going to find the card. The card we'll use is going to be right underneath that two. We're not going to use the king or the jack. In this case, it would have been the two of hearts. Okay? So now that you know how we're going to do it, this is for real. Place it anywhere you want in the deck. Leave it halfway out, right there. Do you want to change your mind? You happy with the mind you have? Thank you. We're not going to use my number. Well, that will use this card here. Now, I don't want you to show that, but you can look at it and hold it against your chest so I can't see it either. And now, I will try to divine the card by reading her mind. So just concentrate on that card, okay? I'm getting a new image. Here, I'll give you a hand. Okay, let me see here. All right, I, I got it. I think it was a. Uh, Seven of clubs. Just yes or no? No. No. Okay. There are 52 cards in the deck for those who don't know. And uh, how much time do I have, buddy? About four good years. <laughs> okay. Uh, another image comes to me. The King of Spades. Well, this is embarrassing. Uh, but as a professional magician, I have an insurance policy. Okay. Now this insurance policy is good for uh, covers failures and extended coverage, and I think the card might be the Ten of Hearts. No. 
I'm going to say hit this pair. Come on, the three stakes. It's got to be the king of diamonds. It's not it. I got one more shot here. In my jacket, I have. How many more cards? Is it the jack of diamonds? What is it? Show everybody. Show everybody the card. Queen of hearts. Queen of hearts. Oh, man. The queen of hearts. You caught me with a pants sound. The queen of hearts. Queen of hearts. Queen of hearts. It's already on YouTube, right? Thank you very much.